Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, mom to mom My name is Marissa Bergman. I'm a mama, I'm a nurse, and I'm studying to be a childbirth educator. And I'm very passionate about educating and encouraging mamas through pregnancy, childbirth, postpartum, breastfeeding, and motherhood. I think we all should learn how to enjoy the gift that motherhood is a little bit more and we all deserve a mom friend to encourage us. So that's my goal here at this channel is to have you feel like you're chatting mom to mom with one of your friends. In today's video, I'm going to talk about reasons why I should have taken a childbirth education class. understand that taking a childbirth education class may not be at the top of your to-do list. It seems like there are so many things to do and accomplish before you welcome a new baby into your home. Or maybe you've been through childbirth before. You're an experienced mama and you feel like you don't need to take a childbirth education class. I too thought the same thing. I thought I have a basic knowledge of labor. I have a basic knowledge of childbirth so I don't need to take one. It's not that I didn't think they were important, but I found many excuses of why not to make it a priority. So today I want to touch on a few reasons of why I wish I would have taken one. Before we get started, I want to talk really fast about what childbirth education is. Childbirth education is exactly what it sounds like. It's education around the normal and healthy processes of labor and childbirth. Now, depending on what type of course you take will depend on what topics are discussed. Typically, there are some similar overarching themes such as anatomy and physiology of the uterus of breast, for breastfeeding. Um, typically, you'll go through the stages of labor, what to expect, maybe go through effacement and dilation. Other topics may include partner support, breastfeeding, newborn care, and what to expect postpartum. These are all such beneficial topics for us to learn about, especially if we've never been through it. Because motherhood is a huge transition. And every time you add a new family member to your home, it's a huge transition. I heard a quote recently that really resonated with me. And it was from um, Bren from The Birth Hour. And she said, you cannot try to fit your old life into your new life. And that is so true. Every time we welcome a family member, we are starting a new season. And things are gonna be new and hard at times. And so we need to learn that as mamas, we need to set ourselves up for success. So the first reason why I wish I would have taken a childbirth education class is because I was not prepared to cope with the pain of labor. I know that this may sound silly, but I thought because I was choosing to get an epidural and I would probably get it relatively early on in labor since I'm a first time mom, that I would be able to cope with the pain until I could get an epidural. It can't be that bad in early labor, right? Well, if you've watched my birth story, then you know that my epidural was delayed. And I will leave a link to my birth story if you are interested in watching that. But basically what happened was I started running a fever, I had to have antibiotics, and then it took a little bit for the nurse anesthetist to get there. So by the time I was getting my epidural placed, I was already pushing seven centimeters. And so I went much further in progression before I got an epidural than I ever thought that I would. Um, and I had no coping mechanisms to deal with the pain. I did not know about breathing techniques. I did not know about positions that were beneficial for labor. I didn't even know about focal points or aromatherapy or relaxation techniques or partner support. And these would have made a huge difference because ultimately it led to me making some decisions that I would go back and change now like getting IV drug medications. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't know how to cope with the pain. Another reason that is important to learn how to cope with the pain is because we don't know what our pain tolerance is gonna be like until we get there. 
Pain management is a very important topic that is discussed in every childbirth education class. So if you take a class, you will be taught the basic methods of how to cope with pain. And this is something that I wish I had known. I wanna throw in a bonus tip right here um, that if you plan to get an epidural or you plan to have a medicated delivery, which is completely fine in your choice, you still need to have a pain management plan because we don't know, just like what happened to me, how long it will take for your epidural to be placed, if it will work, and what your pain tolerance is in early labor. So I encourage you, even if you plan to have medication of any form, still teach yourself, learn how to cope with pain, pain management techniques, and you will definitely thank yourself later. So the second reason I should have taken a childbirth education class is because I did not have any foundational knowledge of breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is a topic that is usually discussed in childbirth education. They lay the foundation of what you need to know. Topics such as, how do you know that your baby's getting enough milk? What is a correct latch? What are some signs to look for that your latch may not be right? How do you take care of sore, bleeding, cracked nipples? What do you need for breastfeeding? What supplies should you gather? These are all things that I did not know. We had a rough go the first little bit of our breastfeeding journey. And thankfully, it all worked out and we breastfed for a long time. But it was a very difficult start. And I was not in my right mind to know who and when to reach out to. I did not contact a lactation consultant and I definitely should have. And you would think as a nurse that I would do that. But going into motherhood was just such a transition for me and then being sleep deprived and recovering from childbirth that I just did not take the effort to contact a lactation consultant. And I really think if I had had the foundational knowledge of breastfeeding and known what to expect, what was normal and what wasn't, I would have been more likely to reach out for help. My third reason why I should have taken a class is because I would have thought through interventions differently. Now, I am not opposed to medical interventions, okay? Um, and I have to add in here that this is not for medical emergencies, okay? I'm talking about interventions that are optional. So, induction, epidurals, amniotomies, things of that nature. Um, when I was term with my daughter, I was so ready to have her because I had been through preterm labor, I had been experiencing contractions for a long time. And I know that a lot of moms get like that because the end of pregnancy is very uncomfortable and you get to a point where you're just so ready to meet that baby that you've been filling in your belly for so long. And so at the end of my pregnancy, I was so eager to have her that I would have agreed to almost anything. And then when my epidural wasn't working, when it wasn't placed until I was seven centimeters, I agreed to having an IV pain medication that I really did not like and I really regret making that decision. If I had been given the tools to think through and process through interventions that would might be offered to me, I think I would have made different decisions. So most childbirth educators will teach you a tool. There are different variations but there are, it's called brain, bran, or brands, and essentially all of these tools go through what are the benefits of this intervention? How is it going to help me? And how is it going to help me and my baby? What are the risks? What, what are the negative side effects that could happen? What are my alternatives? Do I have any other options? And what are they? Can you inform me of what those are? And then the end of these acronyms vary depending on the tool, but essentially, what is your intuition? What does your gut tell you? And what if you wait? What if you give yourself 30 minutes to think about it? What if you give yourself 30 minutes to see how your labor progresses and then make a decision? I also encourage you to use these tools while you're still pregnant. Use them before you're actually in labor to think through different interventions that may be offered to you. This is definitely a tool that I'm going to have in my back pocket the next time I have a baby. So the fourth reason is that I would have had more resources available to me. 
Now, if you take a childbirth education class at the hospital you plan to deliver at, you're gonna be making connections to people that are at the hospital. You're gonna be making connections to people that potentially may be involved in your care. You're gonna meet other pregnant um, class members when you're in class. Typically, they will give you a list of resources that are local to your area, such as lactation consultants, other educators, um, maybe physicians or pediatricians, and I did not have that information. So even if I had reached out to a lactation consultant, I wouldn't have even known where to start. And I encourage you to make those connections while you're still pregnant. Get your hands on some local resources. That way, if you do need some help, you know exactly who to reach out to and you make it easy. You have yourself set up for success. So my fifth and final reason for taking a childbirth education class is that evidence-based research shows better birth outcomes. Now, childbirth education has been around for decades and it's been studied for decades. And all of the research always comes out the same, that childbirth education is beneficial for birth outcomes. So just to talk about what evidence-based research is, evidence-based research is the research we want. This is the research that goes off of actual numbers, data, statistics. Um, compared, they compare it to big populations, so that gives us a bigger picture of is this actually statistically significant. And it is. It is statistically significant. So to be current, um, there is an evidence-based research article that had came out in 2020, and I'm filming this in 2020, that shows that childbirth education is independently associated with more normal vaginal deliveries. I don't think this is a coincidence. I think that this is absolutely significant. It showed that there is an increased likelihood of breastfeeding. There is an increased likelihood of confidence going into childbirth. There is better communication with your care team because you know how to talk to them and you know what your desires are. There's a decreased use of epidurals and analgesics and the list goes on. So my point here is that if there's no cons to taking a childbirth education class, there's nothing negative, it's not going to hurt. And the research proves that there are more normal vaginal deliveries with childbirth education, then why would we not do it to set ourselves up for success? Now, does this mean that because you take a childbirth education class, your labor and delivery will go smooth without a hiccup? No, of course not. Nothing is guaranteed, and we should always walk into childbirth with open hands, but being fully educated and able to advocate for ourselves. Because if you don't advocate for yourself, who's going to advocate for you? So I hope that you will learn from my mistakes and thoughtfully consider taking a childbirth education class yourself. I'm going to leave some resources in the description of where to find a class, the different kinds of classes, so you, may, you can see what may be best for you. I'm going to leave the research article that I have referenced and I encourage you to read it yourself. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I hope that this was helpful for you and that it encourages you to go ahead and sign up for that class. And I hope that you let me know that you did. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you for your support and for um, sticking around for my next one. I'll see you later. Bye.